So we heard about these Fijian locals that were actually scuba diving with real sharks. I'm talking tiger sharks and bull sharks, no cages, not contrived. We kind of didn't really believe it, but we've driven two and a half hours down to the Coral Coast and we've visited three villages to try and find out where these guys are. I think finally I've found the place. I'm gonna go and try and see if we can actually get a dive with these guys to see if we can maybe pat a shark, who knows, let's see. Hello. Bula. 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 I heard about some crazy Fijian locals that dive with sharks. That wouldn't be you boys, would it? That's us. That's it. Ooh. Real that's, sharks. That's us. Real sharks. Actually, no. Remote control ones. Remote control ones. <laughs> but tiger sharks. Oh, bull, bull sharks. sharks tiger sharks. In cages, right? No. Oh, oh. Don't <laughs> Everything Why in Fiji is friendly. Yeah. Don't have to worry you about guys it. are crazy. <laughs> you serious? How far down do you go? The first one is at 25 meters and the second dive is at 18 meters. Okay. Yeah. So what's the chances of myself and two other crazy females coming down, um, taking a look at these sharks with you? Well, can't wait to take you out then. Serious? Yeah. We're on? Yeah. You're ready? It's born ready. Whenever you're ready, Let's do this. we're ready. Woohoo! We're on. Let's do this. And I wanted to take people out without cages and show them that you can actually hand feed bulls, tigers, silver tips, and all the other larger sharks um, safely. When you come here, I mean, most of the people that come here, 90% of them are terrified um, because they've heard about bull shark attacks and they've heard about tiger sharks and things like this. They've, they've already got their impressions and for years they've been terrified of something. So when they get here, the normal response on the boat is almost Am I going to survive today? Almost like they're suicidal. <laughs> but then once they do the dive, they actually notice that the animal is not really that interesting. In them. It's almost, um, you know, some divers come out the water and go, I'm actually quite shocked that the shark didn't even pay any attention to me. In fact, I'm almost insulted. <laughs> in Fiji, all um, coastal villages own the reef in front of them and that can be from one kilometer to two kilometers of reef. When we're going to set up a project like this or even dive their reef, we will always have to go and ask them permission. And in this case, we weren't just taking tourists, we were actually going to feed up their reef. So we had to ensure that if we attract all this fish and make it like a, literally an aquarium without sides, that um, not everyone goes in there and says, great, I found the world's best fishing spot and just fishes it out. And so the villagers, not fisheries from the government side, but the villagers here, actually protect the reef. They're the ones that make sure anyone who comes in gets chased out. So every diver pays a $15 marine park entry fee. The whole fee goes to the village. And we invite six different operators in the area to come over those four different days. And they watch what we do, their guests. And um, every single person pays that marine park entry fee.